Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to give you an update on the best way to use BridgeEDU. So here I am on the dashboard page with all of the courses. And every couple of years when I make a significant change to a course, I start a course rerun. You'll see that the course may have started more recently. And what will happen is for older courses of the same version, you'll see a view archived course next to it. Make sure that you're not learning new information from an archived course. Now, this is still available for you to go back and, and check out if you're not going to enroll in the newer version of the course. But make sure that when you're enrolling in a course that that course isn't archived because that will probably mean you're using a later version of that course. Additionally, once you've completed a course, it should show up that you can view your certificate for that completed course. If you can't view your certificate or have problems with that, please reach out to me via Basecamp and I can make sure you're enrolled in the right track to get a certificate. Now we'll go into a specific course. And as you may have learned so far, courses are organized with videos, text, and questions. Now, sometimes during the text, I'll reference the Google Drive course textbook and a textbook for the course. And in order to um, avoid confusion, I wanna go over what the difference is. Now, textbooks for the course can be accessed on this upper bar here, as well as discussions in a wiki. There won't be wikis for many of the courses, but some of the discussion pages can be quick accessed in this bar. Now, when you go to a textbook for the course, you'll have a list of PDFs here that you can download and view, or you can click through and view in this screen. Now, because of a space limit on Bridge EDU on the software, as well as for the effort of keeping everything in the same place, we've done something in which we've also created a Google Drive, what I'm calling a Google Drive textbook for every course. Now, for this not to be confusing, every course should have a link to the Google Drive textbook above. Make sure to open the link in a new tab. And for a Mac, I'll press Command and click the link. And this will take me to the collaboration folder under textbooks and course textbooks for that course. The other way to access this is through the collaboration folder itself under the Bridge EDU tab. And what's new is I've added an index. So there's a how to use this index in the collaboration folder. And what you can do is you can scroll down to the Bridge EDU and you can see all of the information that may be in each course textbook. If this is overwhelming for you and you just want to look at and you know exactly which course you want to look at, you can go into Bridge EDU, pick the course that you want to look at the textbook for, click textbooks, and there it will be. Some of the textbooks are organized in subfolders. Some of them just have all the information um, depending on how big the textbook was. Now we found that this was the best way to both be able to teach through Open edX, organize information within the open edX, but then also after you've taken the course and you know something was in the textbook of that course, you don't need to go clicking all the way through the course or sign back in um, if it's been a while. You can go right to the textbook and the collaboration folder to hopefully find what you need. And if you're not exactly sure what you need, that's where the index comes into play. With this index, we have short, I put short explanations for each of the folders in the collaboration folder, what you might find there, and feel free to use Command-F to look through this and hopefully find what you're looking for.